What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Common Grounds podcast. I'm here today with a very special guest. I'm very thankful that she's here, Jessica Chong. Jessica, how you doing? Hi, I'm Jessica. And Jessica is an international student, a third-year student at Wake, studying. What are you studying again? Um, my major is biology, and I also have a minor in psych, and then a, another Japanese minor. Oh, wow. Yeah, and also I'm thinking about pre-med, so. So, yeah, thank you. As we were talking about before, um, this is uh, Talk About Citizenship, a podcast, just really more of a conversation, getting to know you better. I've had the good pleasure to know you, get to know you recently here mm-hmm. through a mutual friend and... I always say some some silly stuff um, whenever I see you, but maybe have more of a serious talk um, because I've been to China. I've had the great chance to to visit the country for maybe ten days. I want to say, and I actually yeah. went to your home city, Beijing, right? Yeah, so yeah. Wanna, tell tell me about like growing up a little bit in Beijing. How was that like? Hmm. Actually, I wasn't really born in Beijing. Mm. I was born in a city next to Beijing, but they are really close. So I moved to Beijing when I was eight, mm-hmm. and. Um, I went to like elementary school there, mm-hmm. and then middle school and high school. Yeah, so growing up in Beijing, like Beijing is a really big city. Mm-hmm. So, there's... how many millions of people? It's like eighteen. Maybe I don't really know the number, but there are really a lot of people, and I'm usually surrounded by a lot of people because mm-hmm. in China you see people everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, so there are really tall buildings, and mm-hmm. and like here in America. You guys live in houses. Yeah. We live in like buildings, like apartments, but mm-hmm. not really apartments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Now, would you say in Beijing are there a lot of people from、um, all over the country, or are they usually from that region? Like, for instance, in America,、mm-hmm. Washington D.C., we got people from all over the country there. How does that work in Beijing? Yeah, in Beijing, I think there are people from everywhere、uh-huh. because Beijing is like really big city with、mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of like. Working opportunities,、mm-hmm. so people from everywhere, everywhere come to Beijing to seek for working opportunities. Yeah, and the big universities are there too. Some、yeah. of them, at least, some great universities. What are they called again? Uh, uh Peking, Peking, yeah, Peking, Peking, Uni- Peking University and Tsinghua University. Oh wow! Yeah, and I, th- I think a lot of like people from other countries come to, come to there too. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So, talking about citizenship, kind of wrapping it back to citizenship, would you say that? That people who live in the big cities, they tend to be. There's a desire to move to the big cities, like Beijing, Shanghai. I know there are a bunch more Shenzhen because they have a lot of、uh, technology. That's like kind of the tech zone, Guangzhou, that area. Is there like kind of a prestige, you'd say, like a high level of like status maybe amongst the citizens that live in those cities, and there's a desire for maybe people in the country to move to those cities, or, or are you not. You don't really think that that's true. What do you think about that?、Mm, I think you are actually right. I think a lot of people、um, in China want to move to big cities、mm-hmm. like Beijing and Shanghai. And you have, if you have a citizenship like in the big cities,、mm-hmm. it's gonna help a lot. Like、mm-hmm. you're allowed to buy houses there,、mm-hmm. and there's there's also a lot a lot of other rights that you have if、mm-hmm. you have the citizenship there. And I think Beijing is kind of like a big city, but、mm-hmm. with a lot of people from like. Everywhere in the country,、mm-hmm. and Beijing is okay with that. And Beijing,、yeah. pe- like native people from Beijing, they don't really have a prestige or something、mm-hmm. like that.、Yeah. But for Shanghai, I think it's a little bit different because、mm-hmm. um, Shanghai people, I think they think they are a little bit prestige、oh, really? compared to people from like from anywhere else because、mm-hmm. Beijing, and like Beijing is like the. Government, the government, center,、right? yeah, the political the center,、maybe? yeah,、really? the political center of China. But Shanghai is like the economic center、oh. of China, and hmm, I don't really, really know why, but Shanghai people seem to have a lot, a little bit、so、prestige. Where the money is, what sounds like yeah, where the money yeah, is, wherever、yeah. the money is, the people, the people think they're a little better than they are.、Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, no, I and they also like for Shanghai, they have a dialect、oh, that、Shanghai. is um. What's it called? I don't really know, but their dialect is kind of special. Is and it hard for you yeah, to understand? Yeah, it is hard、bit? for other people to understand. So,、wow. when they are talking about when they are talking in their dialect,、mm-hmm. and they like to talk in their dialect,、mm-hmm. probably I think one thing is that they feel prestige when they、uh, speak that dialect.、Uh, so it's kind of wow. I never, I never knew that. That's that's really crazy. So that that definitely ties into citizenship. Mm-hmm. So with status and the way you speak, that's a big that's a big thing、yeah. that people、um, need to take into account. But、um, 
Yeah, but speaking of speaking languages, you're obviously your English is amazing. Um, you're here in the U.S. doing well, third year doing well in school. So obviously, how 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 was the process learning English? Was it taught like the second you stepped in school, like preschool or elementary school, or did you learn it a little later? Like, how was that kind of process? Because I I can only imagine it's very hard because Chinese and English are so、mm-hmm. so different. Yeah. I think it really depends on the family、mm-hmm. that you were born in. So, for my family, my parents want me to learn English from. I was very young,、mm-hmm. so、uh, actually, I learned some English before I get into elementary school. But、mm-hmm. in school as well, so learn English. So starting、yeah. from elementary school, you have English class. But for I think in school, the. Like the point they focus on is actually your writing and、uh, and reading and not really your speaking.、Uh, so, I think for a lot of Chinese students, their writing skills and reading skills are much better than their talking, like speaking skills, because、mm-hmm. we don't have the environment there. Nobody's、yeah. really speaking English to you.、Mm-hmm. So, but we we do a lot of practices like write writing. And reading, like、yeah. read a lot of passages.、Mm-hmm. So for me, I think、um, when I first came to the U.S., I think my speaking is not that fluent、mm-hmm. because、mm, I need more practice.、Mm-hmm. And also the listening part because the accents it, are yeah you weren't really given a an easy place to、mm-hmm. learn because the accent here is pretty hard. I mean, the kids at the school don't really use it, but the southern right. accent right in general is pretty pretty tough. Right. And、um, when I first came to U.S., it's actually during my high school. When I was a freshman in my high school, I was、oh, wow. a exchange student.、Um, oh, for、America. a whole year. Yeah, for a whole year in L.A. Oh wow. Yeah. How was that? It was kind of hard because I was only fifteen,、mm-hmm. and、um, I was here all by myself. Oh wow. And then when I went to the classes, I don't really understand what the teachers are saying. Oh jeez. Yeah, and. I actually always feel very sleepy in class、uh, because I don't understand anything. But、uh, it gets better. Like, did you meet any kids who grew up in America, but their parents might have been from China and they might have spoken Chinese? Like first generation kids. Did you ever meet yeah, any of those? Like American born Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they some of them that like they speak a little bit、uh-huh. Chinese, but not really. Yeah, that's always that's always an interesting question I ask.、Mm-hmm. To my friends who are from other countries that、yeah. speak other languages other than English,、um, what their opinion is like, what when they meet like a heritage speaker is like what it's called, where like their parents speak it but they didn't grow up in that country, and it's kind of interesting. Some choose to speak only in the the form. Well, I shouldn't say form, but the other language, the one that's not spoken in in the, in the United States,、mm-hmm. um, by the majority of people.、Um, so whether it be you know in your case Chinese, let's say. Whether they choose to speak in Chinese or whether they choose to speak in English, is always a, fa- a fascinating、um, topic for me. But、yeah. how did you end up going to Wake? Like, what was that process like? Because you've talked to me about that before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And、uh, how did you feel about that? And like, kind of leaving your home country to go to a new, come back to America. I guess after you did your freshman year there, how was that process? Yeah. So、um, the high school I went to, it's actually a international high school. So、mm-hmm. everybody. Go to that high school is to like study abroad,、mm-hmm. and、um, most of my classmates they were also going to U.S.、Mm-hmm. So this there is there was actually just a selecting school process,、mm-hmm. and going to Wake,、um, it's kind of interesting because Wake Forest was not even on my school list. Oh wow! Because it is not really well known in China,、mm-hmm. unlike the other Ivy League schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but. I think I just randomly saw Wake, Wake,、mm-hmm. and saw Wake's、um, school page, like like on the website,、mm-hmm. and it was really interesting. And also, Wake has seven essays with yeah, different yeah. topics, and I actually found that very interesting because、mm-hmm. all other schools were having essays like, "What's your biggest challenge in your life?"、Mm-hmm. I think that's really boring. And、um, but Wake has a lot of interesting topics, so.、Mm-hmm. I think they do that to maybe get the kids that really want to be here and be a part、yeah. of the community and like be a citizen in the community. I guess. Yeah. Do you think you'd agree with that or not? Yeah, I agree with that because、yeah. seven essays. Most of people don't want to write seven essays. Yeah. Yeah, and that's really a selecting process.、Mm-hmm. And when I came here, I feel like 
this is actually the right pa- right place for me、mm, because I、good. like the small class size and a university, but it's not really a big university. Yeah. Yeah. Was it was it easy to find other kids from China? Did you know anyone who'd gone here, or at least maybe when you met the Chinese kids that are here? Were you able to find people from Beijing that、mm-hmm. at least said, "I don't know you, but I know this person, or I know this place, and I'm I live here." Like, was that hard to find, or have you not really found anyone like that? Uh, it's not really hard to find、uh-huh. because, um, I think in Beijing there are a lot of international high schools,、oh. and、uh, there were also a lot of people applying to U.S. colleges,、mm-hmm. and actually, as like. At the moment that I got into the school, there are other Chinese students that came came from, for me. Yeah. Oh wow. And asked me that, are we going to the same college? Things like that. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's and awesome. we have a WeChat group oh, that oh, has、sweet. all the Chinese students here. Do you have a Do you have a name for it? I know the the Hispanic group. On campus, had one a couple years called Los Deeks, like the Deeks. <laughs> I don't know if there's a, a name, that, a cool name you guys have or want to reveal. If not, that's that's totally cool. That's private. We don't really have a cool a name, name. A cool but we do name. have a name. A name. It's like so for for、um, my grade,、um, the name was just WFU 2033 Earth. <laughs> nice. That's not really a cool name. <laughs> nice, but um, that's good that you found community. Yeah. In a group and a part of finding communities, like being a citizen, like what what would you say like the biggest challenges are, like joining the new community and things like that,、mm-hmm. at Wake Forest, given your background, you seem to be doing very well. Obviously, I hope you seem happy to me. I hope it's true that you're happy, <laughs> but like there had to have been some challenges at the beginning. Yeah, so the social life is actually a big challenge、mm-hmm. because for Chinese students, um, because Chinese people are everywhere,、mm-hmm. so. It's pretty easy to find someone that speaks Chinese to mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. and then the Chinese students likes to like get together.、Mm-hmm. I guess that's because it, it feels like more in more comfortable for us、mm-hmm. to speak Chinese to each other, and we also share the same like culture background. So yeah, yeah. That's What why. would you say some of those values are if you had to name a few like? Honor, respect. Is that fair to say? What would you say if there's kind of values like that? What do you think are very important? For the Chinese culture and things like that,、um, I just feel like the the way that we social、mm. is kind of different from people here.、Mm-hmm. And like the, the Greek we... life is pretty weird. That's weird. yeah, that's yeah, weird.、So、yeah. We can gr- agree on that one.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's common ground for sure. I think it's weird. No offense to people that are in it, <laughs> but hey,、mm. not for me. <laughs> I think a lot of Chinese people here, like when they come here, they try not to speak to any. Um, other Chinese students、uh, because they want to get into like that immersion, Western life.、Mm-hmm. Like only have friends from here.、Mm-hmm. But also, I I feel like I try to find a balance between these two kind of social、yeah. styles because、yeah. I also want to have I want to have my Chinese friends, but I also want to have other friends yeah, from friends different from. from different countries from different、yeah. cultural backgrounds, right? Like the U.S., Canada, maybe Spain. <laughs> yeah. Europe, who knows? Now that's great. Yeah. Well, just and, gonna end it up probably、yeah. in a little bit because、mm-hmm. I know you got to get back to studying, and I really, really appreciate you sitting down. <laughs> but what would you say the future looks like for you? Would you ever want to work here, or do you plan、mm. to go back to China? Like, are you too soon to tell? What do you think? What's that look like for you? I'm not really sure right now because I always wanted to come back to China after I study here.、Um, also, my parents want me to come back because they miss me.、Mm-hmm. I'm the only child,、mm-hmm. so、oh. my mom always want me to come back. I but, respect that one hundred percent. Yeah, but after I came here for like so long, and、um, I'm actually hesitating because depends on what career I'm gonna be into、mm-hmm. like in my future.、Mm-hmm. So if there's a there's a better Working opportunity here, I'm probably、mm. gonna stay here.、Mm-hmm. But、mm, I'm also thinking about coming back because all my families are in China,、mm-hmm. and not only my parents but also my grandparents.、Mm-hmm. And、um, I don't want to be like、uh, leaving them for too long. Yeah, yeah, that's part of the concern. Well, great. That's all awesome. I really appreciate you sitting down with me and chatting. Getting、mm-hmm. to learn more about you,、mm-hmm. finding some common ground. Yeah. I think whoever's gonna listen to this is really gonna enjoy it,、mm-hmm. and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so, so thank much. Thank you. All right, signing off. <laughs>